What's up y'all? Adam Wilson here. I'm out on my back deck right now. The sun is going down and I'm doing a little bit of grilling. I thought I would take the opportunity to talk to you guys while I'm waiting on the meat to cook. Uh, to talk to you about a product that I really, really like. I was in the market for a new flashlight earlier uh, this year. Did a lot of research, played around with a lot of them and full disclosure, I'm not getting paid by Pelican to sell this product whatsoever. But the product is the Pelican 7600 if you there it is the uh the pelican 7600 is the one that ended up winning out there's several reasons why one it's just it's a sturdy little guy it's got a really good design um it fits well into most holders you got a clip if you want to throw it on your vest or whatever um you can take that clip off if it if it gets in the way of anything but it's rechargeable for one okay it's got the the usb option all right it's also got four different modes, okay? And so, one, the brightest, two, strobe, three, medium, and then the lowest setting, okay? May have been hard to see that on the, uh, on the camera, but, uh, but that's what it is, all right? Also, it has, wait for it, a red light and a green light. Now, why does it have those colors, you may ask? Well most people think it's for directing traffic or that's usually what i what i what i get told if i ask somebody else but it's not necessarily just for traffic now while you can certainly use it for traffic directing i think it would be a little bit annoying to keep switching back and forth and we all know that even though you're directing traffic they're just going to do whatever they want to anyway uh and if you've ever directed traffic you know that i'm telling the truth so but for for the green light if you're a hunter or you're just kind of an outdoorsman you like to go camping, whatever it is, the green light, they say anyway, that the animals cannot see the green light. So you can, you can be in your tree stand on the ground, hunting, doing whatever you do. I'm not a hunter, so it's not really my, it's not really my thing, but it doesn't give away your position. Now, the red light, if, you, if, you're, if you're on a tactical team, if you're on a SWAT team, whatever, and you wear night vision, you're in the military, I don't know, uh, or you're just a creeper and you got on night vision for whatever reason, the red light uh, doesn't blind you whenever you turn it on. You can use a, uh, you can use the red light with with the night vision on. Now, this light's going to run you around anywhere between eighty to probably about a hundred dollars, depending on uh, where you get it from and if you can find a deal. <laughs> Fantastic little light. I think at the brightest setting, it's around nine hundred lumens, and then at the lowest is around four fifty. Obviously, at the lowest setting is when is uh, that's when you're going to keep the most battery. Now, just for an example, so I, uh, I'm not going to say I lost this, but I misplaced this thing not too long ago. Long ago I left it in my friend's car. Well, luckily I found it because it's a nice little light. It's a nice little light. Uh, turned it on and it was just like I had just taken it off the charger. Charges really, really quick. And that was my dog, Jelly. Charges really, really quick and <clears throat> it keeps the charge for a really long time. And so, if you're in the market for a new light, I highly, highly suggest the Pelican. Again, 7600. There it is. All right. But that's it. You guys have a nice night. Talk to you soon.